Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world-class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform on this station. For inquiry and participation, please call 0813-482-8526, 0818-708-2257, 0806-283-0069. Nigeria High Standard Universities, your window to quality education and desired institution. Nigeria High Standard Universities are specially selected universities that have carved a niche for themselves through quality standard and modern day infrastructural development. To participate in this special TV report, the university must be recognized, accredited and licensed by the National Universities Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Our special report today is on a Benido University, Okada, located at Okada Wonderland near Benin City, Nigeria, West Africa. I am Son Kim Sinachi David. Privately owned universities in Nigeria will not be complete without the mention of Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Ibinidium, CFR, the Asama of Benin Kingdom, which is interpreted as the Godfather of the people. A purpose driven man, a passionate candidate from the School of Success, a visionary leader an elder statesman, a billionaire and a renowned philanthropist, a local leader, an achiever and a lover of education. Ibenedium University, IUO, Okada, is Nigeria's premier private university, established in 1999 at the Okada Wonderland, a town beside Benin City, Edo State, and is licensed by the National Universities Commission, the federal agency that has responsibility for quality assurance and maintenance of standard in Nigerian universities. The establishment of a Benedium University was born out of a sincere desire to meet the country's university education need. One of such was the frequent strike actions by the University Academic and Non-Academic Staff Union of the government established universities as the students were regularly compelled to stay at home when the school was supposed to be in session. The university education system was rapidly declining and a strong danger signal of future vices was beginning to take residence in the heart of some concerned citizens. The common on board of Ibenidum University brought a relief to parents and at the same time provided an alternative in terms of choice of university education for admission seekers. The university offers accredited undergraduate and postgraduate courses in law, medicine, natural and applied science, business and management studies, pharmacy, engineering, and the art of social science. The university that started with a handful of students has grown to have over 5,000 students enrollment. The university has recorded several landmark achievements, including being the first private university to produce medical doctors in sub-Saharan Africa, and producing the first private university graduate in 2006 to bag a first class at the highly competitive Nigerian Law School. Ibenedium University, Okada, is devoted to developing and strengthening the academic programs offered in the various colleges to meet international standards and preparing them for accreditation by the National Universities Commission, NUC, and the relevant national regulatory professional bodies. Also important to note that the Imedium Hospital and Medical Research Center, Okada, is another wonder to behold and not to be told. The edifice was commissioned by the then military president, General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida. The hospital is among the best university teaching hospitals in the country with high-level medical personnel and equipment. The accreditation of all the programs including medicine, law, engineering and accounting by these bodies confirms the high quality of academic programs offered by the university. Also, more than 60% of its first degree graduates yearly proceed for postgraduate studies abroad with high success rate and commendation. 
In line with its vision to becoming an internationally competitive university, IUO identified external linkages and networking with reputable universities and development partners as strategic to the realization of its goal. Based on the affirmation, the university had established linkages with all meaningful universities internationally. Ibnadium University has produced over 10,000 graduates in various undergraduate and postgraduate courses since its inception in 1999. The special individuals are working at reputable firms within and outside Nigeria. It has also secured funding from various individuals and bodies like the Central Bank of Nigeria, which funded the construction of an ultra-modern library for the school and the Air Marshal Paul Dike, former chief of air staff, who donated a complex. Our crew also spoke with some key personnel of the university. Professor Ehosa Osagi is the seventh vice chancellor of the university. Ibnadio University in Okada town um, of Via Nortis local government area of Edo State was established in May 1999, precisely on the 10th of May 1999 when the university was granted the license to operate, license number 001. By virtue of that license, of course, the university um, is positioned as the country's premier private university. The first students in the university were admitted in September 1999, and um, May 10th every year is the foundation day of the university. So by 2015, the university is 16 years old. The university took off with foundation programs as um, a conventional university, um, taking the full, the full slate of all those programs, but with a bias for the sciences. So we have um, the sciences, natural and applied, we have engineering, we have medicine, and pharmacy. Altogether, there are seven colleges in the university, the full range you know, of all those courses is arts and social sciences, business and management studies. There is um, engineering, there is law, there is pharmacy, there's the College of Health Sciences. We also have um, a default, default program in our Greek, um, which right now um, is in default. So our Greek would be our eighth college. Um, we have produced graduates since 2003. Um, the total number of graduates that we have had in this university is well over 12,000. In 2007, Benedia University produced the first medical doctors by any private university in this part of the world. And consistently since 2007, we have um, graduated medical doctors. In that same year, 2007, was when we produced the first crop of engineers across our six engineering departments of computer engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical, chemical, and petroleum. Um, in 2006, we set a record at the law school, the bar exams, um, Dr. Sonny Damilola, because that's what he is today, has a PhD now, um, who had gotten a first class honors degree from Ibnadion, went ahead to make the first, first class honors degree in the bar exams by a graduate of a private university in the country. Um, so all told, I think it's been a hugely successful story. Um, since 2000, since 1999, when the university opened its doors, we've not had any downtime. It's not been closed at any point. Um, every session begins at the end of September and ends at the end of June, everywhere. In Bledio University, we bear the greatest challenge 
for private universities. Why am I saying so? We are number one, we are the fourth. And it's very, it's easier to get to the top than to remain there. So others, once you are a champion, you know what it means? Everybody will want to, to get, bring you down to be there. So when you get there, for you to remain there, 16 years on, we have been. We have produced seven, eight sets of doctors, lawyers. We don't make noise because we've come of age as a private university. Our products speak for us. They are everywhere. And when you see them, it's either you need your lawyer, you need your doctor, or you need your engineer, or you need your pharmacist. They are everywhere. You know, so they speak for us. The greatest moment, there will be several greatest moments. One of them, of course, is the production of medical doctors. I mean, if, you, if you're familiar with the um, historical antecedents of the proprietor of the university, Chief Gabriel Sawao Ignidion, um, we had a teaching and research hospital which by reputation was the best hospital facility in this part of the world in the um, late 80s and early 1990s. A Gunedion Research Hospital um, was the place to be. So people came from all over, um, all over from Kenya, from Zambia, from Liberia, from Sierra Leone, and so on. It was the state of the art, you know, at the point. And therefore, it was just, you know, a fitting logic, you know, that that would be followed up with training of medical doctors. So that was one of the um, most fulfilling moments for the proprietor of the university and for all of us, you know, that we were able to produce um, medical doctors uh, and then go down in history as the first private university to do so. Um, you know, the high point of um, our graduate in the law school was another great moment for us. Um, as a university, we have grown our postgraduate. Uh, that's another great moment. Um, our students have done things that would appear unbelievable. I mean, there are tons of books that you know um, students and graduates of this university have turned out. Um, in fact, there is one you know that has become a standard text for use in political science departments across the world. It's a production of um, a homegrown Benedictine graduate. Um, our students have excelled, you know, going to win literary and debating competitions. In, in several parts of the African continent. So these are wonderful things. Um, but let me also say that by 2005, the Benedio University pioneered telemedicine um, in, in the tertiary education sector. This was even before the um, federal government introduced telemedicine in selected um, hospitals across the country. Um, we're in collaboration with Howard University and um, our telemedicine facility made it possible for us to interface with theaters all over the world. That was another great moment. Um, and for us as a university, you know, we've had what, you know, the Razmataz will call the grade A um, list of um, partners and benefactors, um, such as the or Neo FIFA, after whom um, College of Health Sciences is named, as such as the Oba of Benin, um, by Ridi Awa, after whom uh, College of Law is named, um, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, after whom our College of Engineering is named, um, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, who is by the grace of God the Emir of Kano today, after whom our College of Business is named. Um, Dr. David Osunde, after whom our entrepreneurship center is, is named. Um, Air Chief Marshal Paul Dike, um, the first Chief Marshal, Black Chief Marshal in Africa, um, after whom this admin block is named, and so on. 
I think the final uh, moment, you know, that has been great for us is the establishment and flourishing of our entrepreneurship center. We have good students here, students um, uh, with, with good background from where to do home. So little instructions what we give to them and they fall into a line. The first thing that strikes you when you come to Minidia University is the serenity of the environment. A very sane, uh, you know, uh, ambience. Uh, you, you, it's, it's a place uh, that makes you want to study. It's a place where people come to and they say, wow, uh, can you house me for one month? I, uh, it's like, you know, um, to take an example outside the country, it's like Bellagio Center in Italy, where you go to and it's like, I can think, I can have clarity, you know, so the hustle and bustle, you know, that is fairly common with cities, you know, and so on, you don't find here. So we are tucked away in a place that makes us um, very, um, very happy. So it's, it's, it's a happiness inspiring environment. Now security, you know, it's, um, security is, is one of those things that we all know, it's, it's, a national, it's a national matter. You have to drive to get to Okada. We cannot secure the highways on our own. We don't, we don't uh, have the police, you know. Um, but it's been good so far. Um, as a university, and that's where, you know, we um, take charge of what areas we can control. We find that you know, there are shortfalls in the provision of electricity, of water, and so on. So we have to become a state of our own. Um, our roads on campus, you know, the basic infrastructure, the hostels, electricity, you know, um, um, sewage, you know, and, and so on. We take charge of this sense. The, the welfare of our students and our staff that's, that's, you know, the foundation of the university. Um, of course, you know, we, we don't live in a perfect society. So the thing about managing Ibnedia University, it's about the responsiveness, you know, the um, sensitivities, um, you know, the forms of accountability. You know, we, we, we are a family, we are a community. And so we all share this sense, and um, I think the partnership has been wonderful. To have a robust ICT it requires clean electricity. And clean electricity is a very scarce commodity in Nigeria. I remember when we were setting up on part of our ICT in partnership with the University of Westminster in the United Kingdom. This was a key issue. How do you get clean electricity? And you know, for me, it was initiation to some other part of the world, you know, and thank God that I was so initiated. To get clean electricity, you need to maintain 220. You know, there's no downtime, there's no, up it, it must be maintained. You see, because cumulatively, if you don't have clean electricity, you destroy your equipment. We've had to embrace teaching technologies, you know, um, interactive boards, for instance. There's a one they call the Futures Now. You have a device on your hand and you can practically do things, although we insist at Ignatium, that the things that we do are not meant to replace the conventional classroom, for instance. They simply complement those things um, and so on. Remember I said to you that we had the telemedicine and teleconferencing facility. Um, that was also you know, one of the high points of ICT. Uh, for a long time, we're the only university that had that facility. Um, we are enrolled in a program called the Global Understanding Program. Um, it's a program you know, um, that is based in the University of East Carolina in the United States, but it has um, close to 280 universities. Um, that are enrolled in the program. And it's very interesting um, because 
our students of international relations and diplomacy, for instance, our students of political science, our students of sociology, social science students, mass comm students, and so on, go to the tele conferencing um, lab and they are in touch with all of these 208 classrooms at the same time. So um, that's how far ICT can take you. We're a 21st century university, you see? And the 21st century university is everything that a 19th century university is not. So for instance, you know, the virtuality of university experience makes it so phenomenal. It is no longer a physical location that you're talking about. It's a university in the air. You know, so this is a university you smell from afar off. You know, one button, you know, on an internet search, you are there with the university. Chief Benedion is, um, is a global citizen. He has um, um, honorary degrees from universities all over the world. His um, repertoire of dreams and visions and so on, um, they, they are extraordinary. I mean, and really, the good thing with him is that he follows his dreams and visions and tries to actualize them. They say a tree does not make a forest. But when you get to the forest, there are trees, if you don't see them, like Aliruku, you see this is not a forest. So, I have, the, the more you're trying to define the person and personality and personage of the Honorable Chancellor, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawari Benidio, CFR, you discover that the more you run into problem. The best word to use to describe him, and the best way to describe him is that he is an enigma, an entrepreneur with unimaginable uh, philanthropic spirit, and above all, he is a man who sees tomorrow. You can't describe him, you know. He's different thing to different people. Um, it's a father to us. Um, it's a man that is uh, known all over the world. It's difficult to, to describe our Honorable Chancellor. He's a great man. It was one afternoon on Sunday. I was invited by then head of state, Ibrahim Babagida. A telephone rang. And they are here, Babangida, Katana, who was married just now, change. I say, oh my God, so what's happening? He said, I sue again. Then what he dropped there, I said, look, allow private people to participate. Then you'll be able to dwarf them. All this taking you, blackmailing you, will stop. Called call the control room. Olufunwa was the uh, minister for education. Go and see Tibi Bunedi and Bene tomorrow. Olufunwa came, he got destruction. At clever, three weeks, the forms are already out. 63 collected form. Only nine of us return it. That was the beginning. Since I accepted my challenge, and I said, okay, let me be the first to, to lead it. As God will have it. With every frustration in this world I got, I was alone fighting the private university course that not everybody's enjoying today. From the day I collected form, it took me nine years, eight days, to get the license. Finally, we got it. So that beginning of Bolidio University.
Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world-class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform on this station. For inquiry and participation, please call 0813-482-8526-0818-708-2257-0806-283-0069. Nigeria High Standard Universities, your window to quality education and desired institution. That is Ibenidon University for you. One of the foremost privately owned universities in Nigeria. Well, this is about the size of the program for today's edition. For participation and inquiry, please take note of the contacts on your screen. Until we come your way again, same time, same station, I remain Sonny in Game Snatchy David. Bye for now.